Hi St. Clairs. This week we will have a quintet singing as our music for this week's Faith Formation video. You should recognize these folks from church and I'm in there singing the tenor part. It's two sopranos, an alto, tenor, and a bass, and John playing the piano. And the song is Go Preach My Gospel from our Lift Every Voice and Sing songbook that we use in church sometimes. Okay, so um, we'll share that now. And then after that, Suzanne will share a story about finding treasures in heaven. And we hope you have a good holiday weekend. Boys and girls, today the reading comes to us from Matthew. It's kind of getting to be a habit, isn't it? And it is about collecting treasures in heaven. Uh, the scripture goes like this. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in or steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And this is the reading from Matthew chapter 6, um, verses 19 through 21. So I want to ask you all, do you guys collect anything? I collect um, pottery. I'll show you a little piece right here. This is one of my favorites because it's kind of brown with kind of drippy blue stuff. And everywhere I've lived, I've collected a little piece of pottery. Sometimes I've collected big pieces like, oh, that piece in the middle right there, you can see. But mostly little because I've usually lived in smaller houses and I didn't have room for really big pottery. But I love pottery. And I collect it, like I said, wherever I go, I try to buy a piece, wherever I live or wherever I visit. Um, what do you collect? Some people collect seashells, which I have some of those too. Some people collect coins. Some people collect um, baseball cards or Pokemon cards. And they they might not, some of them might not, the collectibles might not be um, valuable in terms of money, but they have special memories for you, like my pottery does. I can remember where I got them and... And a lot of times it was art fairs or something like that. So we like to collect things. People usually like to collect things. And Jesus warned us, he warned his followers about collecting treasures on earth because treasures on earth can break or get stolen or wear out or be destroyed. So my pottery can surely get broken when I move. And if you leave your Pokemon cards sitting in a park or something, they could be taken. Um, or they could get rained on and destroyed. But, or, as in the stories, Jesus says that 
someone could steal something, which we know is not right. We could, someone could steal our collection of whatever it is. Um, a water leak in our house might ruin some cards or there's a number of ways that things on earth can be damaged or taken or ruined. And that's why Jesus talks about and warned his followers not to concentrate on the treasures of the earth, which these are all treasures of the earth. Treasures on, on the earth can't last forever. As much as we like our collectibles, they can't last forever. Jesus encouraged his followers to store up treasures in heaven. Instead, where they won't break or get stolen or lost or wear out or be destroyed. Here are some ways you can store up treasures in heaven. I bet you can think of some too. But the ones that I kind of thought of were obeying God is a way to store up treasures in heaven. Helping others is another way giving money to church or to people who need it, um, sharing Jesus with our friends, talking about him, um, spending time at church, worshiping or learning or singing or working or serving, all the things that we normally do when we're not in the middle of a pandemic. So I bet you can add to that list um, a lot of ways that you can store treasures in heaven which basically means just following God's rule, doing what's right, being kind to others, um, and those kind of things. And that's the way we store up treasures in heaven. Jesus said, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. What Jesus was saying is that if you concentrate on collecting treasures in heaven by doing the things we just talked about, your heart will also be in heaven too. Is in heaven a good place to have your heart? Yes, I think so. Heaven is the place uh, where we all hope to end up one day, and it's a good place to have our hearts. I want to close with a prayer. Dear God, we want our hearts to be in heaven with you. Help us to concentrate on storing up treasures in heaven by obeying you, helping others, giving things to others who are in need, sharing Jesus with our friends and spending time at church, worshiping or learning or working or serving, or in this case, Zoom services or reading about you. We thank you for all the wonderful things you provide in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. I know you're, a lot of you are back to school and um, you've seen several prayers. I think I posted a prayer on Facebook, St. Clair's page, and Canute posted a prayer, and Mary Jane said a prayer. So there's a lot of people praying for children as they go back to school, as they do every year. Every year, people start um, a fresh school year with prayers and and plans. And this year may be a little more because so many different ways to go back to school now, in person or online. And I heard on the radio today that in Mexico, if you live there, um, where my grandson's other grandparents live in Mexico, they have t school on TV and they just, everyone has a channel that they watch and school is on TV for the different grade levels. So I think each country and even each city and even each school district is trying to um, accommodate their kids and teachers the best way they know how during this um, pandemic. So whichever way you're learning this year, I hope you are learning and I hope you have fun learning and I'll see you on Zoom or on Sunday. Oh, no, I won't. You know what? We're going to record that service. So I'll, you can watch me, but I won't see you on Zoom. Um, you can join us on Zoom Sunday and enjoy your Labor Day. Your mom or dad probably have an extra day off this weekend. And have them explain to you what Labor Day is about. Um, anyway, I look forward to talking to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.